Hi guys, welcome back to my urban farm. This is just a few fruits I picked this morning and a bit of a walk around. Um, admittedly, I was busy this week so I didn't really pick much during the week except for some Grammy Chalmers and some Chateau Mulberries. And I think we picked a few canisters as well off the ground. And I usually eat a few Jabota Carvers. Um, so this morning I picked a small, really small jackfruit, but it's actually ripe. I don't know how much useful flesh is going to be in there. Two broadleaf papayas. These aren't very big ones, but there's more than enough for the two of us. Um, some limes that were near the front fence because um, people have taken lately to pulling up and not just taking the fruit but just snapping the whole branches off so <laughs> I just didn't want to leave them any longer um, they're going to regret that if I catch them um, these are the last of the Grimmel Jabota Carvers we've picked, I don't know, kilos and kilos of them we finished our Sabras, this is uh, some red hybrids that are just finishing and it's flowering again these are some scarlets that are just finishing and starting again the yellow jabota carvers are just starting these are the first full fruit i've picked um they're probably a little bit earlier but there's like a thousand on there so we need to get started into them uh blueberries we actually do pick blueberries pretty much every day we only have three plants but we just get tons of blueberries some pink fruited lime berries uh, these are three Suriname cherries from a seedling that just popped up randomly from a, a black Brazilian cherry and it's really good no resin. This is the one that I've kept for years, a bigger Suriname cherry that has a little bit of resin but still not too bad. These are the first peaches of the season. I have about 200 of these on the, this is the Florida Prince. Um, they're very good really nice peach all the other stone fruit is still a little while off some of the last scraggly red chatoot and these are all um, grimy charmers you sort of have to when they get like this you've got to pick them because otherwise something's going to eat them or they'll fall off we've got a storm coming this afternoon i think so they would have just got have only a couple of cherry of the rio grands i just usually go through and just touch them and if they fall off um, I picked them and can I stall that um, I'm not sure if I've said on video but we found the secret is just to let them basically fall on the ground and leave it for a couple of days and then they'll go really soft and yeah they're delicious so yeah that's um yeah pretty much what you can expect if you start planting fruit trees and a lot of these have only been in the ground four to five years, so some a little bit longer, but and I'm gonna get a lot more, it's just the start of summer, so everything's starting to warm up. It's a beautiful hot 35 degree day here in Brisbane, so there's a lot more fruit ahead of us this summer. Okay guys, catch you on the next one.